The only truth that truly exists is that we have choices. Every single thing ever, 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 ever gives us a choice. When a thing happens, we have choices how to respond to it. You cannot honestly and truly say, somebody came up and insulted me, so I had to hit him. An automatic omission has occurred here, which is you omitted the fact that you had a choice to not hit him. Okay, you could hit him, and let's say you did. You made the choice to react to their provocation with violence. But I had to. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. There is no I had to in this life, short of eat, breathe, sleep. You have to do these things, because if you don't, you die. And one, you could technically argue you have a choice even here. I could suffocate to death if I chose. The only, only exceptions here are people with actual legitimate mental disorders where they don't have faculties to make informed decisions. That's a different case here. I'm not addressing that. I'm talking about people with brains that function. You can make choices. So point taken, I think, every single thing requires choices from us. And this is something so important to keep in mind. It's, well, it's in a Captain Obvious video. So what am I talking about here? Why am I talking about, yes, you have choices. Of course you have choices. Well, society seems to pretend we don't on a lot of things. This happens. Well, of course you have to do this, right? You have to. It's a thing. Someone insults you, you have to step up. You have to man up, right? No, you don't. That's nonsense. It's farcical nonsense. It's just somebody telling you this is what's expected of you. You should react this way. You still have a choice. Let's say somebody breaks up with you. You're in a relationship, right? It's a long going thing and then they're like, I'm done. I don't think it works. Blah, blah, blah. Whatever reasons. You have choices here. You can react angrily, scream at them and say, fuck you, I hate you. How could you do this to me? Or why? What's the problem? What is this something we can work out? Or should we learn to separate now? Or maybe you can take a step back. You can choose to say, maybe I need to think about something. Maybe I need to digest things. Hmm? You have choices. And let's say, for example, life deals you the worst of hands. You, you're doing your thing in life and suddenly it's like, well, you just lost your job. Your car explodes and your house sunk into the ground all on the same day. Merry birthday. It's like Christmas and birthday in one except fuck you. So, what, what are you going to do with that, right? It just smacks you upside your head with a bus of fuck and your entire life is suddenly completely different and much less fun. You still have a choice, by the way. What are you going to do with this? Well, you could feel sorry for yourself. You could wallow in depression and sink down to the depths. Or, you could say, well, fuck me. That was bad. I need to make it better. You don't have to be angry at life. You don't have to be upset at fortune and distraught because you don't have control over things. But you have control over yourself. You can choose how to react to anything, whether it be a million dollars falls out of the sky in front of you to everything you know and love is just taken from you. Or any minor thing in between these two extremes. You have choices. And never, ever forget that. Never let anyone tell you that this is now done. This is going to happen. You now have to do this. Well, he did that. You have to do this, man. You, you gotta. No, you don't. I don't care what it is. Good, bad, neutral. There is no, you have to. There's only a, I think you should, or this seems good. Let's say you saw a mugging, or you saw somebody steal something, right? You have a choice now. It's not like a, you just walk away, well, it's not my problem. No, you've chosen that route. You've chosen complacency in an act. It's not expected, it's not demanded, it's not automatic. You chose that action. Now there's a good quote from Eleanor Roosevelt that takes this on a different angle, but keeps the core element the same, which is, no one can make you feel small without your permission. If I insult you, I say the worst things I can think of about you, your family, and everything, on a level, you choose how you feel about that. Yes, I could make you feel angry, humiliated, bring the red to your face. And maybe you deserve it, maybe you don't, maybe it's true, maybe it's not. None of that even matters, because the choice is still with you. You can be shamefaced and run away, or you can take your licks and hold your head up high anyway, because the choice is in you. The choice is always and eternally in you, and no one can ever take that away. Well, what if they put a gun to your head? Sure, that changes the weight of your decision. 
and decisions have weight. Let's not mince words here. All decisions have weight and consequences. Just because you can choose something doesn't mean you should or it's the best thing to do, but it's there. Someone has a gun to your head, give me your money. That does not automatically require you to give them your money no matter what. You can still say no. Not saying you should. Let's make that very clear. Not saying you should. But do not forget that the choices are always there and that at some point in your life, you chose exactly what's going on. To some degree, you signed off on what is happening. No one completely forced you into anything. To some level, you said, I'm going along with this. Whether it be because I don't feel like I have the power to oppose them, or because I thought it was a good idea in the moment, or just because I was drunk and I had no sense at all. Doesn't matter. You did choose it at some level. And everything that has happened that you signed off on, on some level, was something you wanted. Right? If you did it, oh, I didn't want that to happen at all, then why did you go with it? Examine that. Everything is choice. Everything is choice. So if your life is taking you in a bad place, look first at your choice-making skills and see the choices you have made that led you there. Oh, but other people did this. Well, you chose to be with them, and you chose to keep being with them, despite at some point there being a slide starting. No slide begins at the end. It started somewhere. You chose to be there for it. In essence, what I'm talking about here is personal accountability. This idea that people have that they can deny the accountability for actions because there's expectations or there's the easy and automatic reaction. A guy swings at me, I need to beat the fuck out of him. No, you don't. You can back up, call the police, defend yourself as much as necessary, and respond only with enough force and aggression required to calm the situation or save yourself. You don't have to beat him to within an inch of his life. You don't have to play the games of social standing and insult to insult, fight to fight, or make fun of somebody because they made fun of you or because they're lesser than you. Or Every single goddamn thing is a choice on some level, even if it's just, how do I respond to this event? A meteor fell out of the sky on my house. How do I respond to this event? Still, the choice is on you for that. The sky made that happen. But whether you scream and cry and shoot yourself or pick up your feet, roll up your sleeves and say, I'm going to build it again, is entirely on you and you alone. Other people can help you. Other people can put weight to these decisions one way or the other. But that never, ever alleviates you of the responsibility of the choices you have just made. One way or the other, or even if you choose to do nothing, you have still chosen. Always remember that, because I can't stress this enough. So much of society seems to be wrapped around the idea of denying accountability, or this just happened. <laughs> no, it didn't. Somewhere along the way, somewhere, a choice was made. If you don't know where that choice was, or why you made it, or even that you did, find it. If you know why you made the choice and you're not satisfied with the results, choose differently next time. And if you don't think I'm even talking any real sense here, or, oh, well, all this stuff that makes me not be able to choose things, well, you're wrong, to put it quite simply. At some level, every single person, poor, rich, powerful, weak, quadriplegic, doesn't matter, has a choice in this universe. And whether or not you have the strength to choose for yourself, or just to go along with the flow and go with what people think you should choose, well, again, a choice for you. This is something to think about, because it applies to everything ever.